Hello everybody, I am happy to meet you again with a different interesting module on breakfast cereals. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, hope we all know. But what we have for breakfast decides the energy level that we would have for the rest of the day. Cereals are actually more than 100 years old. Until 20 to 30 years ago, wheat and oats were milled and they were sold as milled grains suitable for breakfast. Initially, the milled grain required further cooking at home before consumption. But in the present day, due to paucity of time, people needed something which is RTE that is ready to eat and RTC that is ready to cook type of thing. The present day cereals can be consumed as it is or it can be cooked and consumed. It is very convenient and can be quickly prepared without the need for elaborate cooking. Now after going through this module, you will be able to know the various types of breakfast cereals and its production. Now let us see the definition of breakfast cereals. Breakfast cereal is usually a food made of processed grains of wheat or oats or corn that is often consumed as first meal of the day. It is either consumed hot or cold. It is usually consumed by mixing with milk, yogurt or fruit. Some type of breakfast cereals need partial cooking and it is not so common when compared to ready to eat cereals. The breakfast cereals are classified based on the processes. Breakfast cereals can be classified into two types namely hot cereals or traditional cereals which needs further cooking before it is consumed and other type is very popular that is ready to eat cereal or it is otherwise called as cold cereal which can be consumed with hot or cold milk or it can also be a flavored milk and it can also be consumed as it is. Traditional cereals Hot cereal or traditional cereal needs heating or cooking before its consumption. It is made from various cereal grains like rice, oats, corn, wheat and from other minor millets. From each grain many type of ready to eat products can be made. Wheat and oats are so common than rice, corn and other minor millets. The ingredients that are required for cereals are Rice, corn, wheat, oats and other minor millets can be used as a base raw ingredient. To improve the palatability, corn syrup, brown sugar, malt, coconut can be added. Even fresh fruits can also be added to increase the antioxidant level. Flavors like chocolate, strawberry, cinnamon and other spices and fruit flavors can be added to it. Other ingredients includes nuts, dried fruits and marshmallow etc. Fortification with vitamins and minerals can be done to replace those lost during cooking. The following are the steps involved in the preparation of the grain. Grain is checked and it is cleaned in the factory after its recipe. The grain as a whole or partially ground or even the flour of the grain can be used. The grain is mixed with other ingredients like different type of flavors, sweetness, sugar, salt and water. This is done in large pressure cooker. Even value addition can be done by adding vitamins and minerals. Once the grain is cooked, it is moved to a conveyor belt that will pass through an oven so that it will dry soon. But required quantity of moisture will remain in the cooked cereal so that it will be soft and it can be shaped as needed. Instead of grain, if flour is used, it has to be cooked and then sent to an extruder. The cooked dough can be made into different shapes like pellets, ribbons, shells, etc. Then this shaped dough will be processed as that of cooked grains. To prevent staling and rancid, antioxidants can be added to the cereal and it will improve the shelf life of the breakfast cereal. Making flaked cereals. For several hours, 
cooked grain is allowed to cool so that moisture content is stabilized this process is also called as tempering then the tempered grain is flattened by sending the grain through the metal roller with tons of pressure that is huge pressure is applied here then the flaked grains are sent through the conveyor to ovens and they are toasted with very hot air the moisture content is removed and toasting will enhance the color and flavor of the cereal flakes now let us see the process of making other cereals to make the cereals more attractive and interesting the cereal grain can be made into flour and then to dough the dough is sent through the extruder and can be converted to special shapes like alphabets circles squares triangles etc this process can also be done with the extruder then the shapes are toasted or roasted or it can be puffed it's partially puffed in order to maintain its shape hot cereals uh, can be produced by rolling or cutting the grain or cracking the grain or milling into flour this again will be partially cooked so that the consumer can cook it easily in hot water with less time with the partially cooked mixture salt sugar spices flavors etc can be added the process of making the cereals more attractive to all age group includes adding some type of coating that is after getting the desired special shapes the cereal may be added with vitamins minerals antioxidants preservatives spices sweeteners improvers and other additives by spraying thin hot syrup or thick hot syrup of sugar frosting is done on the cereal with a rotating drum then it is cooled so that the syrup will dry then it goes for packing that is some type of cereal such as shredded wheat cereals are fairly resistant to damage from moisture these type of cereals may be placed into carton boxes directly and this carton boxes can be lined with plastic all type of cereals need an airtight packing with waterproof plastic bags within carton box so that it is protected from moisture pickup and also it prevents staling and becoming rancid nowadays packing is fairly automated like within a minute the automated machine packs about 40 boxes and this box may range from 250 grams to 2000 grams the packets are then assembled from a sheet of cardboard which has been already pre-printed with the needed information and it is also designed on the outside of the carton box strong glue is used to seal the bottom and sides of the box now bag is formed and inside that moisture proof polythene can be inserted the cereal is filled inside the bag and it is closed or sealed by heat then a weak glue is applied on the top which will allow the consumer to open the box easily now it is ready for supply or marketing quality control aspect is very important in any kind of production like quality is ensured in each and every step sanitation is also necessary all the machines are cleaned periodically that is frequently with hot steam or it is cleaned with water each and every batch of grain is inspected for the presence of foreign material when it arrives then it is partially cooked or extruded to bring it into desired shapes temperature and moisture content are monitored periodically to ensure the proper cooking and shaping to fulfill the accuracy of nutrient quantity the vitamins and minerals are measured carefully then each box is weighed in order to maintain the shelf life the temperature and humidity are maintained this will also prevent staling of the product and becoming rancid 
and it keeps the product fresh over reasonable period of time manufacturing of oats oatmeal contains only oat grain and nothing else there are many types of oats available but the thin skinned on are preferable because they have high protein content and they are not too starchy Additionally this type of thin skinned oats will give 60% of oatmeal whereas the yield of thick skinned oats are only 50% to prevent spoilage or infestation the grains should be milled as soon as they are received compared to other cereals oats contain higher quantity of fat so the possibility of becoming rancid is also more also the enzyme which is present in oats that is lipase it can create a soapy taste then it can be controlled by steaming the oats and then using the steps involved in manufacturing of oats are cleaning and shifting steaming rolling or cutting roasting and then finally packing now let us see one by one cleaning and sifting in the cleaning process of oats they are loaded into a moving trays and washed thoroughly and a high intensity water spray The trays used are perforated so that the presence of foreign material is discarded underneath. Steaming once the oats are cleaned they are sent through a steamer where they will subjected to moist heat for a fixed period of time. Rolling or cutting once steaming is done oats are sent for steel cut. They are sent through a machine which has sharp knife blades. Quick cooking oats are sent between cylinders to make a lighter and flatter flakes this process is done several times to bring consistent shape and size but hull is separated and used for other purposes roasting after the hull is removed the oats are placed into a roaster where they are toasted at a prefix temperature for a fixed time final stages packing predetermined amount of oatmeal is packed in preprinted containers then it is sent for final packing and marketing now let us see the by products that are generated during the manufacturing of oats the hulls which are removed from the oats are used as poultry feed another by product of the hull is for frul which is a liquid aldehyde or dehydrogenated alcohol it is used as a phenolic resin or it can be used as a solvent also the stages involved in manufacturing of whole wheat shredded grain are cooking cooling shredding baking drying packing and then finally flake cereals now let us see on by one cooking The grains are cooked in different batches with more water but it is cooked below the boiling temperature and it should be in atmospheric pressure. Steam is injected directly to heat the grain. After cooking, excess water is removed from the vessel and then the wheat is sent to the cooling units. Cooling, the wheat is then dried and cooled. and the temperature is reduced thus stopping the cooking process after this the cooked wheat is placed in large holding bins and it is allowed to temper in shredding process the grain are squeezed between smooth surface and grooved surface rollers here a comb is placed against the grooved roll and the comb teeth will pick the grain shred from the groove A next stage is baking and drying. Once the individual biscuits that is the shaped one are ready, they are sent for baking. It can be baked in batch in the oven or it can also be baked in continuous conveyor belt oven. Once it is baked, it is allowed to cool to room temperature and then it is packed. Packing, the packing of produced biscuits are done by using aluminum bags. which is called as primary packing and then it is packed with the cotton boxes with all product information printed on them flake cereals can be produced by using different type of grains like rice wheat corn etc it can also be processed to obtain different products and the process involved various steps like 
pre-processing of the grain cooking it may be partial or it may be full cooking then it is delumped dried then it is cooled and tempered made into flakes toasted again cooled and then it is packed by following this method any type of ready to eat flakes can be done as the first stage grains are tempered can be pulverized steamed at 180 degrees for 20 minutes then it is cooled for 30 minutes after that it is air dried and added with spices and salt it is mixed uniformly extruded in a single screen then it is pressed with the roller and then the flakes are finally separated then it is shade dried for four to eight hours after that it is roller dried and again shade dried now it is toasted again and now the rte flakes are ready it is sent for packing and then for marketing it another method of production is by extrusion process let us see about this now extruded flaking process of cereal is different from traditional flaking process the steps involved in the preparation of extruded flake cereals includes processing mixing it with other ingredients extruding with different types of dyes drying cooling and tempering then it is made into flakes it is roasted or toasted cooled and then packed the main difference between extruded flakes preparation and traditional flakes preparation is that for extruded flakes cooking and delumping steps are not necessary whereas we follow the production of traditional flakes the remaining process like making a dough shaping flaking toasting or roasting and packing are the same as that of traditional flakes production Another popular way of producing cereal is by puffing. Now let us see about gun puffed whole grain cereals. They are prepared by cooking the grain in huge vessels. Then it is sent to a chamber which will reduce its pressure. As steam under pressure in the interior of the grain seeks to equilibrate with the surrounding lower pressure atmosphere, it focuses the grain to expand quickly or puff only certain type of grains can be done in this process for example rice and wheat here the process involves various steps like pre-treatment of the grain its puffing screening and then drying and cooling now let us see the extruded gun puff cereals preparation actually for this preparation of gun puff cereal meal or flour is used as a base ingredient instead of using the whole grain the flour is made into a dough. It is cooked and sent to the extruder to make it into different shapes. The process of making extruded gun puff cereals is same that of extruded flake production. In this, the process, the prepared dough is extruded and then it is dried and tempered. Finally, it is puffed, cooled and then packed. This is so common that is oven puffed cereals. They are prepared using rice or corn or the mixture of these two grains can also be used because rice and corn inherently puff in the pressure of high heat and with adequate moisture content the grains are mixed with other ingredients like brown sugar salt water and malt extract and then it is pressure cooked after cooking it is sent for cooling and then it is sized once it is cooled and sized the kernels are dried and then it is tempered and in the next process the kernels are passed through flaking machine to flatten the grain then it is sent to the dryer the kernels are dried and oven puff once it is puffed the cereal is cooled then if necessary value addition can be done by fortification of vitamins and minerals antioxidants can also be added to preserve the freshness of the product finally the end product is packed cereals can also be prepared by shredding process like wheat acts as a major ingredient in the preparation of shredded whole grains there are various steps that are involved in the preparation of whole grain shredded cereals they are cleaning the grain partial or full cooking cooling it and tempering shredding biscuit or other formation then it is baked and finally packed cooking of these grains are done in different batches with excess water but it should be below the boiling point and should be in atmospheric pressure 
to heat the grain steam is injected directly after cooking the entire water is drained from the vessel then the wheat is sent to the cooling units and once it is cooled the grains are tempered in shredding process the grains are squeezed between one roll of smooth surface and another roll of grooved surface here a comb is placed against the grooved roll and the comb teeth will pick the grain shred from the groove so many variations are there in grooved roll once it is shredded it is fed to a cutting device so that it will form individual biscuits then the individual biscuits are baked in a continuous conveyor belt oven when it is baked it is allowed to cool and then it is packed extruded shredded cereals they are prepared by using the same method as the tough whole grain shredded cereals except that extruded shredded cereals use a meal or flour of different grains as a raw material instead of whole grains raw grains include wheat corn rice and oats and because the grains are used in flour form they can be used alone or it can also be used as a mixture there are various steps that are involved in the extruded shredded cereal preparation and its processing they include receiving the grain handling the grain and its milling mixing it extruding the grain cooling tempering shredding biscuit or other products formation different types of baking drying the product and then packaging granola cereals so many ready to eat cereals are available nowadays granola cereal is one among that it is ready to eat cereal that is prepared by using ready to cook or rolled oats and then mixing it with other ingredients like dry fruits coconut nuts brown sugar honey milk powder powder of nutmeg any vegetable oil etc this mixture is then spread in a uniform thickness layer onto the band of continuous dryer or oven the toasted layer is then rolled into different shapes are broken into chunks or can also be made into balls to conclude nowadays people do not want to spend much time in cooking and hence breakfast cereal come in handy and helps to save much time different type of cereals can be flaked puffed and can be made into bars balls or a variety of special shapes This breakfast cereals are fit for consumption for all age groups right from preschool to old age by addition of certain ingredients with medicinal value it can be converted into therapeutic diet